Hey, Chef Leach. Alex, come on in. How you doing? All right. Survive uh, Chef Neil out there? I survived. You did all right? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. How can I help you? We're going to make the chocolate espresso cube. We're going to make it in that box that we picked up. Right. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to paint the inside of this. And I have two chocolates that we're going to do it with. First, we're going to do it with a white chocolate with brush strokes. I'm going to cover it up with a uh, dark chocolate. So when it comes out, you're going to see mostly dark with just a couple of brush strokes of white on it. Okay. So let's take the brush. And what we're going to do a couple of brush strokes. I'll show you one. You can do the rest. Just coat a little bit on the inside. Any decoration will work here. I mean, you could. You can write on the inside of the thing if you could. Any what I want? Any, Any way you want. want. Put a little bit on top if you like, sure. There sure. we go. I'll leave a little bit of space. You want to see a little bit of dark when it comes through, too. Absolutely. That's going to set up and solidify a little bit. And once uh -huh. that's solidified, then we put the second layer of chocolate on, which is going to be dark chocolate. Okay. Now our chocolate, our white should be set. Let's just check it out. Yeah, it feels a little solid in there, right? Yeah. Ready for yeah. a second layer. Ready to go. Do you want to dip in here? Now you want to make this one thin. You want this dessert really thin so when people eat it, they don't need like a sledgehammer to get through it. So you want to paint it and pull all that chocolate out. You really get into those corners. And you can see there. You see the light through the chocolate? It's yeah. it's gotta be thin, right? Okay, yeah. You, you can see the, the white right. on the edge, too. Perfect, yeah. Nice and thin. Now, nice I'm interested cool. to see how we're actually gonna get this out of the box. It's gonna come right off. If the temperature's right in the chocolate, it's gonna contract right away from the sides. The thing is, you have to have clean plastic. And you're just gonna give it a couple of jigs. It all goes right, it comes right out. We're gonna let those set up. Once those solidify, now we're gonna fill them with a mousse. Okay. What we're gonna make is a uh, espresso chocolate mousse, okay? Yes. What I did here is I melted a couple things ahead. I've got the milk chocolate, the dark chocolate, some butter, milk, and espresso. We're going to grate a little bit of orange in here. Just a little bit. doesn't take much. Just want a What's little that, bit of orange flavor. Just to cut the flavor a little bit, give a little citrus? Yeah, a little accent to it. I mean, especially with the milk chocolate, it really helps. What you're going to do is you're going to take a couple of yolks for me. Okay. And you're going to whisk those up with a little bit of sugar. I have no problem doing that. How's that? Because my wrist is killing me. <laughs> oh, no, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> no, no. All right, I got some mercy. You look good. Is that right. good? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Good. We're going to take that and we're going to scrape it into here. And once we get all that in, we just take that whisk back in there again, kind of fold it up a little bit. Whisk it all back. And the last thing we're going to add is that little dice of uh, devil's food cake that I have. Right. Which is nice when you kind of cut open this cube, you're going to have a creamy mousse in there plus a little bit of cake. So it's almost right. like having a cake within a chocolate box. So basically there's one basic theme going on here, and that's chocolate. It's all chocolate. It's all about <laughs> chocolate. I'm going to whisk this up. Yep, nice and smooth. All right. So what do you want your <laughs> guests to experience when they're at the chef's table on the pastry side of things? Uh, kind of an element of surprise, you know, my things are kind of, they've been called like architectural and different visually to look at. I mean, if you see a description on the menu, it may just say chocolate espresso cube, but you really don't know what that is. Right. So when it comes out, I want that added surprise of something visually shocking or visually nice, you know. So how does that look? We're good. I think we're good. What we're going to do is you add the cream, so mix your cream and creme fraiche. Okay. You're going to add the whole thing in, and you're going to whisk right that up here? some more. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay, wow, that has a cool look to it, huh? Right? Look at that caramel coffee texture to it. Now what we want to do is get that cake in there. I'm going to add a little bit of this at a time. Just scoop under and mix. Yeah, gently fold it in. How's you just that? don't want to break up the cake. Just want to stir it gently. Right. Okay, the easiest way I find to get it into that cube is to now load it into a pastry bag, and we'll just squeeze it right down in there. I'll hold you pour, all right? All right. Yeah, you want to fill your bag about halfway. You don't want to overfill your bag. I mean, it'd just be hard to handle. OK. Take okay. a box. Take two boxes. Even better. Put them down. What we're going to do is fill it up. Leech get it all the way down there. You know, chef? <laughs> That's right. One for me. I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> get it all the way down there. Make sure it fills it all up so you don't have no air pockets in there. Yeah, a little bit over the top, so we're going to smooth it nice. How's you got that? it. Perfect. What you want to do is just smooth this, so it's going to sit nice and flat on the plate. Smooth it over. How's that? It's all right. It looks good. You're going to take these and refrigerate them. It needs at least three to four hours to refrigerate for all the all the fats to solidify. The cream, the butter, the chocolate, it's all got to lock up. Perfect. We'll be ready It'll for the nice. chef's table tonight. It gets creamier, it gets better, it's going to be good. Chef, all right? thanks a lot. We'll see you later. I'll see you tonight. All right. You got Cheers. It. Thanks. Talk about culinary ingenuity. These guys are the best. And when you combine the talents of chefs Murphy and Leach, you're in for an outstanding meal.